Jesus. <laughs> and we are back. Yes, here, right here, Sister Circle. And our next guest uh, says that not enough people capitalize off their own wisdom and is here to show us how exactly do we do that. She has 20 years of experience working with corporate and executives and celebrities, as she likes to say, bankroll their brilliance. Please welcome Nicole Roberts Jones. Hey, boo! Nicole, <laughs> how are you? Glad to be here. Excited we are excited to have you, Absolutely. and anytime we're talking about money, we just love to talk to the people right. more and more and more about it. And we got on our green color today, too. So we got on and our green. And I got on gold. Yes, right. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about bankrolling your um, your brilliance, bankroll, bankrolling our, br our brilliance. What is that about? So really, so many of us have a genius, I call it intellectual property in us, uh -huh. and we walk around giving it away for free. Ooh. Mm -hmm. And so if we could just stop long enough to realize, every time somebody says, you know, let me run something past you, can I pick your brain for a minute, you're giving it away. Wow. So you want us mm -hmm. to monetize that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So how would we go about, give us some tips on how would we go about doing that. So first, number one, I'm going to say stop giving your intellectual property away for Don't free. Don't do it no more. Right? Stop no doing it. So more. again, that genius, that brilliance in you, you've got to understand, many people say to me, well, can't other people do this? And yes, other people can do it, but nobody does it like you. Mm. So it's time to stand in the full power of it. Come on now. Mm -hmm. So what's the second step? Second step is, look, I, I want to make sure I say them in order. Number two is <laughs> build your business from a blueprint. So mm. many of us then go and say, okay, I'm going to start a business and you do whatever, whenever, however, mm -hmm. you don't stop long enough, number one, to create strategy around it. Mm. So what I mean by strategy is understanding there's a formula mm -hmm. to what you do. So it's creating that formula that then shows people there's five steps, there's six steps that I'm going to take you through that will lead you to a predictable result. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like mm -hmm. that. I, I like that. that. Having a strategy, having a plan. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. What, what is this? What is marketing? What, what do we, what do we, when we're talking about marketing, how do we uh, evolve that into bankrolling our brilliance? I'm glad you asked me that because I don't believe in marketing. You mm -hmm. don't? No. So because you don't believe you know, in posting things on Oh, yeah, I believe media. in doing those things, but here's, here's where so many people mess up marketing. Okay. So you can have the greatest marketing strategy, but people aren't paying you because they, they see you. You could be Facebook famous and broke. Mm -hmm. Oh, ain't okay. that So, ain't don't we know so? Right, right, right. <laughs> so it's really building your know, like, and trust factor. So okay. think about it like this. When my husband took me on our first date, if that mm -hmm. brother would have brought a ring to that date, there's no way. I'd be running. Right. Yeah, asking me to marry scary. him. So you want to build that relationship over time so that people get to experience you. Mm -hmm. And it's from that experience that they'll say yes to mm -hmm. pay you. Mm -hmm. I'm one that believes in multiple streams of income. Mm -hmm. So what about growing revenue in other ways? Mm -hmm. yes. I love that you asked me this question <laughs> because what I know for sure is what makes a difference for anyone, whether you're a, a lawyer, an accountant, a coach, no matter what it is you do, is moving from a one-to-one -one model to a one-to-many. Mm. So what happens is when you only work with people one on one, you only have so many hours in a day. Right. Mm -hmm. I want you making money while you sleep. Mm -hmm. Meaning yes. that if you take your brains and package it into ways that you're not present. Mm -hmm. I mean, I wake up some mornings and I have someone's working on a program mm -hmm. that I have. Mm -hmm. You know, even I have clients in Singapore and Aruba. I don't live in Singapore or Aruba. Right. 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 So it's being able to work with more people mm -hmm. that then becomes the way that you can package your brains in multiple ways. Now, Nicole, we, we talked about multiple streams of income. Mm -hmm. We all know that we're all for that but sometimes we think that because we have a lot going on that that means that we're being successful at mm -hmm. it and it's bringing mm -hmm. in revenue that necessarily not. doesn't mm -hmm. mean that how do we go by streamlining everything to make sure all right. of the businesses are making money right. being so, productive so I'm gonna go back to step number two about the blueprint mm -hmm. so when you have a blueprint which is a step-by-step -step process that you do what you do mm -hmm. it's then creating a formula from that process so let's say and I do I have a six-step formula that I work from tell mm -hmm. me about so that. one program for me well I don't know if you have that kind of time. Right, look, look. You have the monetize. Right, right, right. <laughs> so, so here's the thing. The reason I'm telling you I have six steps is one program is two steps. Another one is one step so that you begin to look at, if you come to me, I look at where you are. Mm -hmm. Do you need my third step or do you need my fourth? Right. Mm. So then that helps me be able to, at any given time, be able to tell you, well, that's step three. Let me show you what that looks like. Right. It makes it much easier to do what you do instead of trying to figure out, well, let me write a new proposal. And every time someone comes to you, you're writing a new proposal. Right. When you have a formula, when you have a blueprint, you don't have to do that. I love mm. that. Mm -hmm. You have uh, one... Uh, quote, you said, be willing to step outside of your comfort zone, mm -hmm. and I love that. Mm -hmm. I am actually a comedian, TV show host, right. and also I'm a real estate so agent. So you're always uncomfortable, right? Right. <laughs> right. And I got my real estate license so that I can sell myself mm -hmm. my house. I wanted the commission. So right. talk to us Tell about that. Tell I was like, okay. okay. And you know, what I see so many success, successful women come to me, you're already successful, and so you think the success you used over here is going to help you up level, oh. mm -hmm. and it won't. The tools you used over here are not going to help you for your next <coughs> level. So you've got to understand that whatever it is you're 
you're doing, whatever way you're monetizing your brilliance, if it's something you've never done before, it's going to mm -hmm. cause you to do something you've never done. Yes. Mm, and so that means that. you're going to have to be uncomfortable. Uh, I remember Stephen Furtick said this quote, and I'm probably going to mess it up, but I'm well, trying to get okay. it right. Give us that on the lines. Faith is not the, fear is not the enemy of faith. Mm. It's familiarity. Yeah. Mm. Because when you're familiar, you want to be comfortable. You want to keep doing the same thing you've been doing and you expect that you're going to grow. It's mm. just like Tyler Perry thinking that when he lived in a car and he produced his first play, that that same way he yeah. did that was going to then produce his first movie. The right. one thing I always mm -hmm. say, there's no growth in comfort, okay? Mm. Right. You got to stretch yourself. Right. All the messages today. Well, yes. listen, Nicole, thank you so <laughs> much for joining us here at Sister Circle. And for more on Nicole Roberts, of course, you can um, check out, check her out on all of our social media platforms.